Hi, I'm Don Calhoun. And I'm Dwayne Coos. And we're co-authors of the book, Dancing with the Elephant. Thank you for joining us today. We have a big topic here today, Donald. In fact, talk about the elephant of elephants. And our, our subject today is the, the Mount Everest of all subjects, and that is, are we a death denial society? Now, this initially might be one, in fact, that you're going to turn off the, the camera or uh, turn off your viewer right now because we're going to talk about death, but please don't. Please. This is very, very important to understanding the dance with the elephant. They might also perceive that we smoked a little wacky weed before, uh, before this one. This subject, Dwayne, is uh, very, very near and dear to me um, because... If I ever want to end a subject or anybody asks what I do in my, my daytime job and run a memorial company, I can end a conversation with the subject of death or tombstones or, or end of life just like that. Your natural tendency is like Duane said, shut off, I don't want to deal with this. This is the elephant of all elephants. And therefore we believe at the, the core it defines who we are and our behavior in our society and it literally is a mammoth topic so if I could almost illustrate just in a real quick brief examples for you in the audience um, common phrases that I hear when I'm sitting and dealing with the family uh, grandma was a hundred and three years old and the family sits before me and they go it was such a shock that grandma died I'm sorry, but she was 103 years old. Since we, the moment of our inception and the inception we came on this planet, we all literally know our days are numbered. And how is it that a family can get their brain around the fact that 103 years is a shock, but they do it? And I see it all the time. I was at a conference, Duane, amongst some of the brightest individuals in my industry, the leaders in the funeral industry and, and grief therapists and psychologists. And they, the one guy literally in the conference says, if I die, this is the type of funeral I have. And, and did you catch the word if I die, this is the funeral I wish to have. A person who, whose livelihood is in the death business uses the word if. Um, and you're, you have a, 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 are much more of a researcher and an investigated Columbus discoverer, uh, and Duane has come across a guy who's spent his whole life on this subject. Well, and as it ends up, you know, Don and I have been working on the book for, for many, many, many months. And uh, in that process of researching various topics, obviously death, an important issue for each and every one of us, well, it ends up that... Uh, if we were going to choose a single entity that controls you and me in the social structure around us, if there was just one word in the universe, guess what it is? Death. We are either attempting to avoid death or we are pursuing immortality beyond death. Eric, excuse me. Ernest. Ernest Becker, Ernest Becker's Pulitzer Prize winning book, uh, Denial of Death, is the driving force. And since then, it's been researched um, by a group of uh, uh, comrades, per se. Uh, and there, in fact, is a site you can go to that's called Terror Management that really bites into this. And, and it's phenomenal, Don. We Are we death denial? Hallelujah, we're off the charts. Yeah, it was interesting because in my line of work, I have actually asked other professionals in the in my line of work, are we death denial? And they said, oh, no, no, we're not. And I couldn't agree or disagree more with them that literally, whether it's religion, is really a situation where we are, quote, trying to find eternal life. That is a subject that we all... Uh, those of us that are religious and believe in a higher power, we don't want to believe that our early earthly existence is just tied to this moment, that we have a greater purpose beyond. And we believe that way, we're congruent to that, irregardless of ir uh, religious belief. However, uh, 
this this fear. You you tell the story. Dwayne tells a magical story when one of the most dearest and nearest people in his life passed away, and the behaviors of his family. Here's here's my my aunt, my my godmother. She's on her deathbed, and um, there's a group of people there in the kitchen, all loving, concerned of her, uh, but she's literally you know, about to die and everybody's worried about whether or not she's had taken the right medicine and whether she's got this painkiller or not. And and in the end all she really wanted to do was connect to them to say goodbye. And and I had I was lucky enough to go in and, and spend fifteen minutes with her that were, were, were marvelous. They were glorious. Um, and w- we said goodbye as we should have um, but yet the majority of the group that were there today that day rather were totally disconnected didn't didn't want to accept the fact that Aunt Mary was dying yeah so our, our exercise for you uh, is at this moment rather brief and that is you're gonna say are you aware of the fact that your days are numbered And you're going to say, well, of course. No, I'm going to ask that more seriously of you. Do you realize that your days are numbered? That your time on this planet may be as as the old saying goes, you got to live in the moment. Let's even push it to the further. Is today a good day to die? Think about it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's information and would like to receive 20 free videos, 20 free videos that cover the key questions that people usually ask about dancing with the elephant, you can go to dancewiththeelephant.com.